All right, here we go. I'm going to show you how to take a picture, turn it into, looks like kind of like a, a newsprint uh, drawing like we have right here. I'm going to show you how I did that. It's very simple in GIMP. I'm simply going to start with a uh, image, a photograph, and I'm going to crop it. I'm going to choose the crop tool. This is the crop tool right here. Choose that, and I'm going to trim it down a little bit. Say I want to make an avatar for use on uh, a blog or some such place. I'm just going to choose that, select enter to crop it, and then from the tool menu, filters, I'm going to go to artistic and photocopy. That will give me uh, a look at what I'm seeing. We can see, uh, we can play with it a little bit here in the settings, and then simply say OK. It will give us a new image. There we go, and I um, sometimes like to add color to this, so I'm going to take this image and I'm going to create a new layer, right click on the layer, and duplicate the layer. I'm going to work on the, the copy. I'm going to grab some paint. I'm going to use, uh, let's say, a blue color and say OK. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to make it bigger and start painting this shirt. You know, right off the bat, this doesn't look that good. But in a minute, I'll show you um, what we can do with this. So I'm just going to paint in, fill up the lines, paint by number. You can try uh, several colors and see what uh, might work best. But for now, you'll get the point. Once this is filled in, it looks like crap. <laughs> uh, sorry, just not that pretty. So what I'm going to do is take this layer, see this opacity? I'm going to turn the opacity down and it's going to start to let the background bleed through. See now the color's in there, but so is the, the background coming through, so it looks a lot more reasonable. We'll take that down to maybe 10-15% and since um, it's got some spots I'm going to go in and get the paintbrush again and fill in clean it up so it looks nice and sharp get my brush a little smaller and there we go I've gone from a photograph image to this, I can change it down, even scale the image down. Say I'm going to use it in a site that needs to be uh, 180 pixels wide. There it is. So I've created a new avatar with a great new look and a new blue shirt. Go have some fun with the uh, tools in GIMP.